Is this really the face of LA? Is this the face of hip hop? Is this the face of the baddest rapper alive? What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Look, man. So I have made videos clowning Swifty Blue. And you know, it's a trip because people think that because I clown somebody in a video, that means that I don't like them or, or, or I have any ill will towards them. I don't know them. I, 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 I don't know people enough to be that invested in them, you know, and that's including Wes Watson. But Wes Watson is, is, is a horrible human being. He has shown himself to be that. These other people haven't. You know, people think that I dislike Bozo. I don't, I don't know that guy. I, I think he dislikes me. But I don't, I'm not invested enough. Shout out to Bozo. But anyone who has done time knows this. There's a lot of carrilla, right? There's a lot of joking around. If you don't like somebody, you don't joke with them. Because you don't want them to think they can joke with you because you know there's going to be a problem. I love my raza. I love my people. I want to see them win, man. And... When Swifty Blue was doing the whole trolling shit, you know, check in and pulled out the fucking Billy the Kid gun. That was funny. When he did that thing with that other dude, you know who I am? He pulled the gun. That, he's trolling, man. So when he was trolling, I was like, homie, Mato's hair is a little bit crazy. His tattoos. But see, he's a youngster. I'm, a, I'm an old man. I'm a dinosaur. We're from different eras. Social media has shown me that and shows me it repeatedly, right? But I've never been any at any point and any time thinking, fuck that guy. No, he's 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 a youngster and you know I want to see him get his money. And if you go back to the videos that I did about Swifty, I always try to give him advice because I would like to see him win. I didn't know his music. I didn't. I know some of his, his older homeboys, my age and a little bit older than me, and I was close to a couple dudes from his neighborhood, right? And um, I have to say that he forced me because I was like, man, this Vato, all this shit he does, I got to listen to his music. And I did. And I was like, huh, the Mexican Mozzie? But no, he can actually, he has different flows, different styles. And I'm going to say, and people are going to be upset about it, and the Dubs is crazy, Dubs is trolling, and all this shit, right? He's the best one on the West Coast right now. Boom! Swifty Blue is the best rapper on the West Coast right now. There are people that are great rappers, right? There are Rasa that are good rappers. Every single time... Drummer boy comes to mind. Any means comes to mind. You know, um, Misfit Soto comes to mind. Conejo is a legend. I don't even got to mention Conejo. He's a legend, right? But right now, the ones grinding, the ones putting it out there, just pumping music out. I'm giving it to, to Swifty Blue. My problem I have with Swifty Blue's music is the same problem I have with all of these dudes' music. I don't, it doesn't matter if they're black, brown, Asian, white. It doesn't matter. Stop with the two-minute videos. Stop, I mean, stop with the two-minute music. Stop with the two-minute songs. I don't want to hear a song for two minutes. It's mainly the hook when I'm hearing that. You guys got to, I mean, at least put another minute on there, man. I want to hear another verse. Maybe it's because of the way music is sold now. That's why, you you know, everything, everyone's attention spans are smaller. That's why they have YouTube shorts. That's why they have TikTok and all that. I just feel like, look, I'm, I'm again, I'm an old man. And if I'm going to hear something, especially if it's hard, I want to hear three minutes of it, minimum. I want to really be able to bump and, you know, cruise around with it or have it at the pad. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to hear two minutes of something I'm like, damn, that's it. But I'm going to be going live with Gunner. Gunner and I will be going live tonight. I've already spoken to Gunner. I told him, look it. And look, it, right now as we speak, it's 2.25 in the afternoon. It's late for me. 2.25 in the afternoon. 
And I'm going to put this video out right video out right after this. As soon as it's cleared, I got to, you know, edit it and do whatever I got to do. It's going out. And I'm telling you guys right now, we will be playing Swifty Blue music on the live tonight. Those of you that disagree, whoever you think is harder, let us know. We will play song for song. Play a Swifty song, boom, we'll play that song. Your favorite artist, the one that you say, even if it ain't your favorite artist, but you're just giving somebody props to say, nah, that dude is harder than him. He's he's the best right now on the West Coast. And remember, keep in mind, I'm, I'm speaking West Coast right now. I believe Swifty Blue is, is the most talented right now. And, I mean, he put out, he he's putting out songs with different types of flows. I have a song in my mind. I don't want to put it out there. I have a song in my mind. If he does it, see, I don't want to say what it is. I got to figure out how to get this to him. If he does this song, he's killing the game, period. And I don't want to say what it is because one of these dudes that he's been dissing might say, you know what, I'm going to steal that idea. And I feel like it's a great idea. It's a song that's already been put out there. And it's it's been around for a while. And I just feel like if Swifty does it in the same flow even. But he's talking about the West Coast Cats. Buenas noches. Party's over. Game over. I know a lot of Raza that he's calling out don't want to respond. I know you guys feel like that bottle's beneath you or whatever you feel, Holmes, or you just don't want to help him shine. He's shining. And I think you're missing a bag. I, I noticed with Raza rappers, you know, they cut off a whole region. They cut off, the Southerners cut off all of Northern California like, fuck it, we ain't going to make money out there. The Northerners cut off Southern California like, we ain't going to make money down there. Look, I know people in the industry, man. There's not a lot of money out there, so you can't front like you're getting all this money, man. Expand your horizons. Expand your reach. Because the farther you can reach, the more money you can pull back in. If you're relegated to just your area, your barrio or something like that, big dog, you might need two jobs and then rap whenever you can. But... If you engage Swifty Blue, if you engage these other areas that you alienate, that's where the bag is. That's where it's going to happen. That's where it's going to work for you. But again, I'm going to reiterate tonight. I don't know, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, something like that. We're going live playing Swifty Blue. And you guys come on in, join the party, bring your drinks if you want to, whatever you do, smoke a bowl, whatever you do. Yeah, I'm older. I said smoke a bowl. And uh, let us know who you think is better, why you think they're better. And let's see if you can convince me or I can convince you. And I don't know this cat, but I see, you know, one of the things, I don't like bullies, eh? I never have. And I feel like there's a lot of people wishing his career would end. And I see him like, fuck it. It's me against the world. And he's keeping it with the mu within the music. And I think that's very smart. So... When I saw people trying to bully him and shut him down and he just kept grinding, I said, okay, let me listen to this cat. And I'm telling you, man, when he, what is it, Letter to My Ops or what is it, whatever that song was, that, man, it like got better. The first one was good. The second one was a little bit off. And then the third one was like, damn. So I'm going to go ahead and give everyone an opportunity. The thing I'm going to tell you guys right now, don't request a song that's going to be disrespectful to another region. If it's if it's disrespectful to Swifty and it's somebody responding, cool, we'll play it. That's fine. But we're not going to be playing any music that's disrespectful to the South or to the North or to the Blacks. And, you know, we don't we don't do that. That's not we, we want. We want positive vibes. 
We want a good time and let's hear some good music, man. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close, get this out to you guys. And I want to know, you can start in the comment section. Who's better than him and why? Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, man. I'm out of here.